What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero. And Lizzie. And welcome back to Let's Play Dongle 2 Goodbye Despair in the last episode. Um. Everything went crazy. Yeah, Junko's trying to derail the conversation. Yeah. And, oh my god, Kitty Kitty! And Togami came back. Yeah, shout out to the, uh, the first Killing School game. Yeah, and the best character ever. <laughs> shout out to Kitty Kitty. <laughs> um. But yeah, we're not really sure exactly where this is gonna go. Yeah, she said that we need we to were... think about, um. The like, ending of the first killing school game. I really think she's just tr hinting that like she wants to try to make up for not killing them the first game. Ah. I think that's where she's aiming for. Like, that said, getting fooled by them essentially. Yeah, not a hundred percent sure though. So. Getting fooled by Kitty. Like yeah. Like. But. Yeah, not hundred percent sure where this is gonna go. Let's uh let's, let's just try and find out. If Got a non-stop debate coming up maybe. The same outcome as the killing school life. Do I just have to remember what occurred there? The people in Oshima lured. The method. I should try connecting those dots. There should be an answer there. Do you think it's a full dive? Or not full dive. Logic, Logic dive? dive? Ooh, nice. Okay, Okay. let's see if I can, uh... Oh. Hey guys, guess what? <laughs> what are the controls? What are the controls? <laughs> this is so great. Okay. I think it was was in space. Yeah, I think so as well. I just want to make sure. Left to jump, right. And then right click is the break. Okay. Please, you never use a break. Yeah, I mean, who am I kidding? Gotta go fast. Alright, time to speed up. Gotta this go is fast. probably going to be the most difficult one. Yeah, I don't, I guys, I know it's really unfortunate, but I don't have the really nice mouse. No, he doesn't. He I, doesn't uh, like traveling with it because it's, it's too nice. Actually, though, I don't want it to get ruined or anything like that because pressure can do that for something like a mouse. So. Ooh. Whoa, so fast. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to go. I actually know that song because of my my Motosaki. Whoa, that was so cool. Yeah, I know. I'm I'm pretty cool when it oh comes to games. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> body. I just moved my wrist a little bit. Body, you moved your wrist too much, evidently. Apparently, I don't think I. <gasps> oh. Was not ready. Was no, not prepared. You were not ready for that. Wow, know, this is a tough like, one. Yeah. If only I had my my nice na my nice mouse. Alright, All right, first question. Who do you the future foundation? Host Big Academies, no. I thought I was gonna say like the survivors. Whoa. Whoa. It's usually just kind of like a free ride. I you know, know, yeah, they're like actually making you Yeah, work making for it work it. for it. <laughs> Typical alternating pattern. Oh. I yep, guess. And you got bodied by you get yeah. bodied by the triangles all the time. I know. I'm just gonna use the keys for this because they're a lot more like reliable. Yeah. Question two? Question mark? Oh. I really like this music. They're just alternating. They just can't see all of it. They're just. I thought I was finessing it. I thought I was finessing it. Yeah, but you were finessing it badly. Quick. I promise I'm actually quick. nice to him, guys. Quick. Oh, quick, quick. Quick. Bodied. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, that was weird. You do not have a- <laughs> Mouse! I swear! Oh well. Oh well. I'm like perpetually torn between like the consistency of the keys, but like the necessary speed for like moving with the mouse. What? Nope. That looks super doable though. Uh, I don't know if it looks super doable, evidently, considering that it wasn't doable. I thought it looked pretty doable. I'm just gonna jump early. Alright, All right. what bait was used? The killings? Inoshima? The killings? I think it's Inoshima. Uh, oh, okay. It's like, get in right. here to like, kill Inoshima. Ha! Uh, no! GG! So like... Oh no, it's because, um, like, originally they I was supposed to be there just like, having happy, good, fun times, mm -hmm. and then they started, the killing started happening, so that... Yeah. Was that, like, the bait for, like, the future foundation? Because they, they didn't know that Junko was there until, like, the very end. Yeah. They knew that there like, was a they virus, also didn't come didn't in until the Junko very end. <laughs> okay. Don't overshoot it. Well, I mean, like, not trying to, but... Power. So much power. Silver Surfer, Hinata, so much power. 
Alright, final question. Do you know what we use to force them to watch surveillance? Surveillance cameras. <laughs> surveillance caramel! <laughs> That's really funny. I was like, wait a minute, are they all the same? Oh, wait. That's a pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, it's still going. Whoa. Maybe it's usually just like, it. it's done. Yeah, it looks like there's a fourth, like, base fourth in the... Yeah. Oh. oh, just kidding. Okay, they just had to make us work for that last little bit. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so, want us to lure the future foundation with the killing, so... So she started this whole killing game to, like, bring, bring them the, in. The, bring the old... I think you were right about that one. She wants to kill yeah, the people I guess. that she missed the first time. Huh, interesting. And then, on top of that, that's why she was so conscious of the number. She must have known about the hidden command. Oh, and, and that's used the she... number to force them to have to bring at least three people yeah, in or something yeah. like that. Oh, that's Interesting. Smart. Is, is Inosha about that smart? I mean, I, I, <laughs> she, like, caused the just destruction of the entire world, so... This is true. This probably is true. pretty smart. I got it, you use the surveillance cameras! You were trying to lure the Future Foundation by showing them the footage you were recording, weren't you? The surveillance cameras, that's what they were being used for? In the previous Killing School Life, the surveillance camera footage was broadcast outside of the school. You used the cameras that were placed throughout the entire island for the same purpose. Ding ding ding! I was broadcasting the Killing School trip live to every member of the Future Foundation. The footage you recorded with the surveillance cameras was shown to the Future Foundation? That, no, that wasn't what was just, just said, said. Sonia. Whoa. 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 You wanna tell us what you, you and Gundam were getting up to? <laughs> Uh, what, what shall I do? I did a lot of disgraceful things in front of those cameras. Oh my, Sonya. <gasps> oh my god. 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 What? Whoa, Sonya. You sure did. Whoa, Sonya. Whoa, Sonya. I will never be queen now. Please forget what you saw. Oh my god. We, uh, Dr. Rafa, we don't really need this. So you guys were watching us? Then why didn't you come rescue us earlier? We tried to hack it many times, but the virus within blocked the pro- The virus within the program blocked us at every turn. Not only that, the Neo World program stopped accepting shutdown commands from the outside. As a last resort, we considered cutting power to the program, but... We didn't know what would happen to the subjects if we cut the power while the power program was still running. There's no way we'd jeopardize your safety by taking such a gamble. Even so, we kept trying over and over again until it was finally possible for us to enter the program. This is just painting more and more of a picture of, like, Inoshima actually controlling everything. Yeah, yeah. Just a short time ago. You came all the way here when you knew it was a trap. I get it, you just couldn't leave them alone. If you saw people die one by one with your own eyes by the same killing game you guys played. Hope dictates that you act all high and mighty and say, I'm definitely gonna stop it this time, right? 
Hey, don't tell me that's the reason you made us go through all this. Yeah, the the rationale behind this whole game has kind of like gone through a few different steps. At yeah. first it was like, oh, to be like try to reinstill the despair in uh -huh. the ultimate despairs rather uh -huh. than let them get these like hopeful memories and such. Is it some other means? Is it now to lure potentially the future foundation in here? Is it to convey despair to like everyone watching potentially? Like, it seems like the the thing that they're trying, the main one that they're trying to uh, focus yeah. on is the, um... No, I mean, this is the path that this whole, oh, like, rationale yeah, yeah, has yeah. gone through, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so now we're at, like, a, oh, it's some big trap for uh -huh, the future the foundation. foundation. Of course we made, it do, made you do it for that reason. We orchestrated this game instead of killing you outright solely to show it off to the future foundation. You know I'm waiting for the full I know you are. You know I'm waiting. That's such a bedazzled <laughs> phone. I know, right? It's also so ro low res compared to her I know, like, yeah, art. compared to the sprite. <clears throat> We were forced to solve puzzles and riddles just so you could show it off to the Future Foundation? That's why you guys are chumps. You're just the bait I used to catch a big fish called the Future Foundation. But it's not my fault, you know. This game is a fight between the Future Foundation and me. You guys are just instigators in the background. You guys already knew that when you chose to play this game, right? Just a second, please. That sounds as though we... As though we wanted to come to this world of our own free will. But that's precisely the truth. Is there at some point any indication that like we had to agree to something? Yeah. Hmm. I'm hmm. Trying to think about the But even then, like, of their own free will, she's implying that like the free will is with her free will is like with the intent of despair, right? Mm. Not necessarily like the They're oh current. they like signed a contract or they were like knowingly going into this like with the attempt at like restoring their hope, right? Uh -huh. It's like they were maybe tricked or like convinced to go into this program thinking that they could do something like this. I don't know. Huh? You guys chose to be the instigators, and you're willingly taken into the Neo World program. To provide the opportunity I needed to push this battle between hope and despair into overdrive. Over time. Hmm. That's right, the reason the ultimate despairs began killing each other was set up by the group itself. Huh. So maybe it was when they were despairs they decided to do this. Yeah. It was like something that But the question is like, how did they... Yeah. Hmm. We still haven't found out how the virus got in here. You're right. I don't know if I we're gonna that... find that out. I don't know, I think that's tied to this. Oh, look, they if the ultimate despair okay. intentionally put this virus in, uh -huh. knowing that they could do this with, from within the game. Yeah, everything. yeah, yeah. So, like, they were like, like oh, our memories there. are going to potentially be erased, but, like, while we are the ultimate despair, we can bring back an Oshima if we do this, and then commit to doing this, and then, like, anticipate how this would turn out at the end here. Mm -hmm. That would be pretty impressive, to that be honest. That would be really, but... yeah. That's just your imagination. Ah, uh, Naive Nagi. There we go. Naive Nagi totally fell for the trap, and now your face is filled with a lovely shade of despair. Well, that despair is friggin' obvious. You're here to rescue the. Bacos, <laughs> who set up, who set this up in the first place? Yeah, that would be pretty despair-inducing. Yeah, risking yourselves potentially to come rescue people that set up this entire thing to lure you in there in the first yeah. place without even knowing it in this present moment. Yeah, wow, that's pretty Yo, intense. That's actually it. Yeah. 
Don't go blaming us for this. Thank you! It's all thanks to you guys. This time around, I might be able to fill these guys with despair. We do not feel despair. You tell them, Kitty. Yeah. Even if this is all a trap, we will never regret coming here. And this is the only thing we could do to stop you. But nevertheless, it's all over. We will shut you down and end all of this. I wonder if, if the, our SDR2 crew is able to understand that they were, I guess, smart enough and despairful enough to set up this whole thing or like to contaminate this entire plan to restore their hope with this despair that they're experiencing now that they would give up on themselves to oh, shut wow. down everything. Yeah, so they were like, we're not going to even get into like, our chunks. I That's want to mean. live, I want to have these memories, but if I can't have these memories and I'm going to have to go back to the me that I was before, like, if the me is that intense about it, like... Do I really want to go back? Do I really want to allow myself to go back, yeah. right? You can borderline even think about this persona as different from the one in the real world, uh -huh, right? I agree. Is They're this, like, like totally game person people. is choosing to essentially end the life of the person they that exists are. in real life, yeah. right? So... I don't know. I yeah, don't know. It's, weird. it's strange because it is simultaneously ending your own life, even if it is like the digital life. Yeah, you, you you're don't ending move your like, on, memories right? and all of your all of that stuff. Yeah. So, oof, this is this is tough. Yeah. This is tough for our crew. You're all pretty desperate. Well, that's pretty obvious. <laughs> You don't initiate the shutdown. Those future, future foundation bakas are gonna be trapped here forever. Hmm. That's that's freaky. Yeah. Trapped? Why would that happen? <laughs> Didn't I explain? Already explain it? You know the graduation exam rule. There are two options, graduate and repeat, right? You just have to choose one of them and press it. All of you will cast your vote, and whichever one has the majority will be considered your final decision. But that's not all, right? In order to pass the graduation exam, there was one more requirement. The other requirement to pass the graduation exam is... Oh, the teacher has to decide. Yeah. Oh. oh. Oh, that's scary. Yeah, because Junko's the teacher. Yeah. As I recall, we also need the teacher's final decision. <clears throat> to participate in the graduation program, you need my permission as your acting teacher, you know. What? Does, does that mean it won't end with just a majority vote? After the vote, I'm going to judge every single one of you to see if it's okay for you to graduate or not. So even if we vote, you're saying we won't graduate unless you acknowledge it? Obviously, there's no way I'd let the members of the Future Foundation graduate. So if you can't activate the shutdown, the foundation will enter the endless life of repeating the grade. So she's directly put the desires of the Future Foundation and our SDR2 crew at like, odds. Like, at odds, yeah. Right? <laughs> that's only if the shutdown sequence doesn't activate, right? But that's impossible. Everyone here understands how dangerous it is to release you into the real world. We know that all too well. I mean, she's been bad mathing us this whole time. Uh... 
Looks like you shouldn't have talked so much. Out of the mouth comes evil, so they say. But we believe in their hope. <laughs> <laughs> so naive. It's true that we fell for this trap, and that we run the risk of not being able to go back. But what's wrong with that? Think we back down because of something like that it is a huge mistake. That's my line. Thinking a little shutdown plan will succeed is a huge mistake. I think it honestly does just come down to what they choose, hope or despair. Like, yeah. Huh? You're totally overestimating those chumps over there. There's no way they'll start the shutdown sequence. Why not? Look upon their faces. They look like piglets who are just forced to watch their mother roasting on a spit. There's no friggin' way they'll initiate the shutdown just to go back to being ultimate despair. Hmm. She makes a good point. She does make a good point, right? I'm wondering how important it is that Kirigiri, Togami, and Naigi go back. Because oh. they could choose to repeat, and they would keep Inoshima all of the ultimate despair, but then also those three in here too. So it's like, how necessary are those three in the outside world? Probably pretty necessary. Probably pretty necessary, if I had to guess as well, but that's also a huge factor in the decision, right? And like, I don't know, it's not very nice to leave people behind. I know, but you know, someone's going to be left behind as is. Why All of the currently existing game SDR2 crew is going to be oh, gone right. if they shut yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. That is, well... Oh my god, Nike. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, called it. Inoshima, I don't care what you say. I've decided to believe in everyone. Oh, I love that Nike pose. Yeah. It's true that they walked the wrong path before, but that's all of the past now. What I believe in is not their past, but their futures. Yeah. This music is so good. <laughs> Whoa. I was totally waiting for a protagonistic line like that. When I crush you with despair, such ecstasy. No matter what you do to me, I will never fall into despair. Go Nagi, the ultimate hope. I know, so ultimate hopey. Ah, uh, wrong, wrong. I'm not the one who's going to make you fall into despair. <gasps> That's the mastermind's job, and they'll be appearing very soon. <laughs> Hold what? Up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Did Dong Robin just throw us another A curveball? Loop? Literally, where I was like, oh, we're probably getting it again. Uh, nope. 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 The nope, mastermind. Nope. So, so, the mastermind is not in Oshima. Oshima, apparently. Is the mastermind the one who plugged in in Oshima into this, potentially? Potentially. I remember there was talk about like Kibuyane's like headmaster and the mastermind and everything. I thought Noshima was the mastermind in the last game though. Yeah, I thought Noshima was the mastermind and the headmaster was the like, Kirigiri's dad. Yeah, maybe. Huh. I don't know. I feel like that Izuku character is gonna come back. Oh, you're right. Oh, I mean, you're that's right. what I feel like is about, about to happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, because it's the same number ma name as the headmaster. Whoa, that'll be weird. Oh, this is so intense. M mastermind? Mastermind? Someone else is coming? That can't be. It's just a bluff. You should never make the last character who appears in a detective story turn out to be the mastermind. 
<laughs> but I always fall into that pattern, so I was kind of worried about it. Man, interesting. Who do we think of the mask might be? Do you think Could... that's alluding that it's someone we already know? Yeah, that's what I think as well. Or, hmm. But she also said, like, I always fall into that pattern. I always fall into that pattern, right? So it could be someone new. Is it... Komaida? Komaida? Is it you? I don't know. <laughs> Enough already. What are you talking about? Uh, it wasn't Izuku. It's yeah. Deku. Oh, it's not Deku. <laughs> Izuru. Yeah. Oh, well, let's bring him out with lots of energy. It's Mr. Izuru Kamokura. Okay, so I thought it would be this guy, but I don't really know. I, well, we don't know how he's connected to all of this. Yeah, like, right? is he. Maybe. What if he's a former student? Or is this a new character? Izuru. Izuru Kamokura? The name. I've heard it before. That person was called the Ultimate Hope. He was the guy with like all the ultimate all talents, the ultimate powers, yeah. and eventually just like killed his whole class, right? Yeah, yeah. But that shouldn't be all he was. That's right, and I've seen a person called Izuru Kamakura somewhere else. As I recall, that person was... Uh, a Dark Deva of Destruction. A Dark Deva? Wasn't he a founder yeah, of the Yeah, he's Academy? a founder. Shouldn't they be really old? Yeah. Kamakura Izuru is the name of the founder of the Kibogami Nagakuen, right? Kamakura Izuru, isn't that the name of the founder of Hope's Peak Academy? Huh. I'm really, really con like just confused and curious because I thought he was a student of Hope's Peak too. Academy. Oh, maybe there's two of them. Maybe? It was written on the placard beneath the portrait of the Academy's founder. That name, it was definitely Kamakura Izuru, right? I think they're about to address it. Mm -hmm. However, based on the information I know, the man knows known as Kamakura Izuru. If I recall, he's a super genius who acquired many talents. He was even called the Ultimate Hope, right? Does the founder this have the same name as the Ultimate Hope guy? <laughs> Is that kind of coincidence even possible? Yeah, no kidding. Help, help us out here. The Future Foundation might know something, right? How about a kitty kitty? Of course. Even within Hope's Peak Academy, there's very little information about a person named Kamakura Izuru. It's a mystery if, even such, if such a person real, ever really existed. And not just that, the matter was closed within, without ever being settled because of that incident. Her quirk? I know, I was just thinking that. If you don't know, then please allow me. Providing hopelessly skilled explanations is a quirk of mine. The reason is that his existence continues to be such a mystery is because the Academy hid it. Why did the Academy hide his existence? If I recall, they were trying to protect their superior talent. They even called it Mankind's Hope, correct? However, that prodigious... Prodigious? Prodigious yeah. student ended up killing 13 student council members at Hope's Peak Academy. Wait a minute, I'm still, I'm still confused. Aren't they referring to him as like the student now? I think this is the student, but then there's also a teacher. There's also the, the headmaster. But I think the idea is like, we're not sure if they're the same person. Yeah. But like... I guess they hadn't specified. They were like, we're not even sure if like a person like that existed in yeah, Hope's yeah. Peak, right? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. But then like... And they, like, they know this, like, how would they have right? the same name? That's such a coincidence. Right? Hmm. 
Izuru is, Izuru is the killer responsible for Hubstreet Academy's biggest, most awful event. And you're the one who set it up, right? Information about Izuru completely vanished after the incident. We thought Junko and Inoshima Junko killed them all. Don't say such cruel things. Kamakura Izuru is very much alive. Hmm? Isn't that right, Hinata? Huh? Is Hinata? Is Hinata Kamakura? No Wait. way. Right? Like. There's no way. Could they have been friends? Would they have been friends? How would they be tied? Is it like Hinata's grandpa? Like. Yeah. Like, is he descended from? I don't know. I don't know. Do I'm know? very curious. I want to find out. But of course, we're going to find out. Oh my gosh. No, no, <laughs> in no. The no in the next episode. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> Dr. Robin just keeps throwing more and more into oh this story. Gosh, I'm no, surprised. I'm like, I'm like, wow, there's still so much to figure out. There's still so much. They, I, I'm really impressed and surprised with how much they managed to pack into every little twist and turn in this mm -hmm. story. But they are tying it all well to, or all together yeah, well, are, I think. I, I forgot about the whole name thing. Yeah, so interesting. Definitely interesting. I really want to find out more, and I'm sure you guys do too. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the next episode. But until then, this has been Night Zero. And Lizzie. And this mission is complete. Bye.